What is the power of association? What does the power of association mean? I think my friends are jealous of my success. Rick, why do you have crabs and cockroaches on your thumbnail? How can I make more money and improve my life? Well, we're going to cover that and a whole lot more coming up. Hey everyone, it's Rick Silva with Ask Rick Silva. Fairly short video this time about uh, how to raise your income through associations. About 14 or 15 years ago, I shared the stage with Les Brown at a Millionaire Marketing Summit. The number one thing that he said to me that, that hit me like a ton of bricks was exactly what I'm about to show you. He said, everybody in the room, hold up your hand. So 500, 600 people held up their hand and he said, this is you right here, that's you. These five fingers are the five people you spend most of your time with. This is you. These five fingers are the five people that you spend most of your time with. Add up how much these five people make per year and divide by five. And within 10%, higher or lower, that's how much you make. The reason is, is these five people, let's say on average they make $75,000 a year. Then when you're with them, you're having $75,000 a year conversations. So if you want to earn more money, you gotta start replacing people on the list. Am I saying replace your friends? Absolutely. If you wanna make more money, you gotta watch who you spend your time with. You wanna get up to the two or three or four or five or 600,000, a million dollars a year, and the five people you hang around with make 50,000 a year, it's not gonna happen. It's via the law of association. Now, you can still hang around with your high school friends or other people, but. I don't recommend talking to them about your hopes, dreams, and ambitions because they are going to do something else that's in my notes called crab and cockroach you. So if you've ever had a dream and you've told someone, they go, ah, you're not athletic enough, you're too bald, you're too short, you're too fat, whatever they say. You don't have the, you don't have the education for it. That's too hard. Anything they say, what they're doing is they're imposing their fears on you. So you have to know, number one, when you tell somebody your dreams and they go, Pfft, you're crazy. You can't do that. You're not smart enough. They're saying, I'm not smart enough. So whatever their negative reaction is, it's their fear being imposed on you and they're trying to protect you. They're trying to keep you safe. They don't want to see you hurt. So again, you, you start a new business. There he goes again, Mr. Dreamer. So generally, as you move up the income chain and hang around with these five people who make more money, you start getting into a, a level where people are Oh my God, how exciting. So I want to talk about crab and cockroaching. So number one, by association, that's you. You need to find people. If you want to make $300,000 a year, start hanging around with people that make $300,000 a year. Crab and cockroach. So I sat with an, uh, a manager when I was a recruiter years ago, and he pulled up the management team of a company that he asked me to headhunt and pull people out of. And he said the company won't make it because he knew a lot of them and he said they're crabs and cockroaches. They were out for themselves. So let me give you an example here. If I had a cup, here's a cup right here. Here's my pencil holder. And he, he showed me this. He goes, if, I, if, you, if you take this cup and you fill it full of cockroaches or you fish for crab and the basket of crab is full and take the lid off, this cup filled with cockroaches, not one will ever get out. The basket of crabs, you can look this up on the internet. Basket of crabs, fill it up none will get out. It's called crab and cockroaching. As they try to crawl out to better themselves, other cockroaches pull them back. As the crabs crawl out to better themselves, other crabs pull them back. So I want you to understand when you tell people your hopes and dreams, they're also called dream stealers. I want you to understand they're trying to help you and they're trying to keep you safe, but they're holding you back. So the $50,000 a year people and you want to make $200,000 a year, they're going to try to keep you safe in the $50,000 to bust out of that box. And to get into a bigger box, you got to start hanging around with people that make more. If you make 50, hang around with people make 100. When you get to 100, hang out with people who make 200, 300, 400. My, my mentors make anywhere from a million a year to 10 million a year. And I got a little ways to go to get to the million. Their conversations and the things they say to me makes your head spin. When you meet with someone that makes 50 or 60 or $70,000 a year, you're stuck in 50 or 60 or $70,000 a year conversations. If you want to make more money, work on the association. And remember, there's a lot of people out there that just naturally, accidentally crab and cockroach you. If you want to make more money, hang around with people who make more money. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Thank you.